Right, so if you look at my nails, yes, they look horrendous. We're going to do my left hand. I didn't know which hand it was then. This is my left hand. Do you want me to write on L and R on them? Yeah. So first of all, I am going to push back my cuticles. And I'm using the other end of the pinching tool. For those of you that might think, well, what's that end for? It's for pushing back the cuticle. Now, on my middle finger, on both of my hands, this one, um, I get quite a lot of non-living tissue, excess cuticle. Um, I mean, I definitely know the reason for it on this hand is because here I press on that part of my skin quite a lot with, I'm even doing it, you know, I'm doing it with this tool. So what happens is basically your finger creates a callus and that's what it is. It just wants to make a little bit more skin there than is needed. So I'm making sure I'm getting rid of that because that that's my problem area. I also have another problem area around the waist. Always a problem area for me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to whip over with a white block just to take the shine away from my nail. This nail I've had a little accident with. It's a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit damaged. This is what happens when you play football and skate and have nails on. So with this file, I'm just making sure I have a braised. I'm gonna wipe over my nails with gel residue wipe off solution to take off any of the excess dust that might be on there. I'm gonna use tips today. So I'm gonna size my tips up now, making sure I'm going from side to side. I'm gonna size all of this hand up. So if you're wondering what sizes I am, I am a three, six, five, five, and an eight. We do have a video that's just dedicated to applying a tip. So if you think that I rush through this, you can always check that video out. And for those that didn't know, I hate doing my own nails. <laughs> I hate you doing your own nails. I just, it just, no, I don't like it. It's, it's like, such a chore. Don't get me wrong, I like wearing nails and I like having pretty nails. Love it. Just don't like doing them. But you don't let anybody else do them. We've had this discussion before. I know, but I, I can't let anybody else do them, can I? Because I'm so anal. If you want to see Kirsty get her nails done by somebody else on camera, comment below. Tips are on. Oh, and they look so beautiful. We're going to make them look beautiful. Because as they are right now, they don't look nice. Some people will just apply acrylic to those and think they were fabulous. No, 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 no. We need to customise them. That's the word. I'm going to do a ballerina shape because I, I haven't had a ballerina shape in ages. And I do that so many times with other people and it's just not fair. So you can see I've give that a bit of a squish and shaped it so it's got a nice C curve. So you can see the difference between this if it's just left like it is and then if we customise this to be a little bit slimmer it looks a whole lot better. Now I'm going to file these bad boys into shape. I'm not blending this. No, no, no. If you blend this, then file, you will run the risk of breaking it here. So, nice straight side wall. So I'm going to file all of them into shape. I'll show you what they look like once they're filed. A little bit of acetone on to that tip there, and it'll just melt it a little bit and blend it perfectly into your nail and the acetone is obviously also going to clean your nail 
nicely and get rid of any of that dust that's there. These are probably slightly longer, well they are slightly longer than I would normally have them, but I have been saying for some time, I want them a little bit longer, because I get jealous of everybody else's nails. <laughs> so see how long these last, you know, with football and skating, kids and you know. So I'm just dehydrating the natural nail with the prep, and then I'm going to use the acid free primer. Now I like to put two coats of this on my nails. Because I do nails for other people, I absolutely batter my own hands and nails and my hands are in solutions all the time. And I do find putting two coats of primer on helps me to stop getting lifting or anything like that. So I'm going to use high speed because I work quite quickly. And then we're going to use my favourite cover pink colour, which is natural beige. I'm going to make a smile line on this thumb using the reverse application method. I'm going to start at the lowest point of the smile line. And then take it out to the sides. So I'm concentrating on the smile line. I'm not concentrating on the back by the cuticle. That, that area will be done after this. I'm making sure I've got a nice, even smile line. And now I can then do this back section near the cuticle. And glide it over products that we applied first so it meets together nicely. Once that sets up a little bit, I'm going to pinch it. I've got really flat nails. I hate them. It's not fair. You hear everything about yourself. Not everything, but you whinge non-stop. <laughs> Right, windy pants, aren't I? And we're going to use some of the glitter lips in this nail. I'm going to use these two colours here, which are Guilty Rose and Vintage Pretty. So I'll need clear acrylic. I'll obviously need the glitters. So this is Vintage Pretty. So those that didn't know, glitter lips can be used in nails as well. Right, I'm going to use another brush because I don't want this brush to get all oh, glitter particles in it. I'm going to pick up a bead of clear, press it into the Guilty Rose. So once that's on, I'm then going to press some more of the Guilty Rose colour into that wet acrylic get a really good coverage doing it this way. I'm going to do the same again with Vintage Pretty. Apply that towards the end and then fade that up. Pressing it in with some more Vintage Pretty just with a wet brush. Picking it up and just pressing it in so it creates a glitter ombre. The great thing about doing it this way is you can match your lips to your nails. Oh, oh my God. And who doesn't want glittery lips and glittery nails that matches? I'm now going to encapsulate that through so capping it with clear. The more variety of glitter that you have, the better. I'm going to let that set for a little bit and then I will pinch it again. Just going to pop that pinching tool on to give that a nice pinch. While that's on, I'm going to work on this nail. Now, if you're not very good at smile lines, then this is a good thing you can do and it still looks very good. So you can use the 
cover pink, whatever colour you want. We've got natural beige here. And what I'm going to do is blend this down. This side will have slightly more cover pink on. So it'll be slightly higher this side. So this side's slightly thicker. This side's nice and thin. And we're going to come diagonal. So you can see how it's coming down this side here. So we're going to use Vintage Pretty and Guilty Rose from the Gutter Lips range again. But we're going to add, it's called Copper Rose Cracked Ice Mylar Clear Bead. Going to use the Guilty Rose towards the tip. Start to blend that up. Going towards this corner, again we're going to start to press that in, so picking it up with a wet brush. Then we're going to apply some Vintage Pretty, overlapping the two colours. And then we're going to use the Cracked Mylar and add some of that across this line here. So same again, a clear bead and just pick some up. You can always add more with a wet brush and just arrange that how you want it. I'm now going to encapsulate that. So I'm putting clear on top to encase it all inside. This is also going to add structure and strength to the nail. So as you look at this, you haven't got a hard smile line, so it's really easy to do. It creates a flow of design of the nail. So it's simple to do. If you struggle with smile line, this is so easy to do. I am gonna pinch this. Now while that's pinching, this is how I like to do it. So I rest it on my wrist. That's pinching. And then I can move on to this nail while that's pinching. So we're going to do a smile line on this one again. Take that pinching tool off now and I can just check that over. The only good thing about having no nails on the other hand, I can pinch really well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm then going to pinch this. Once it's at that pinching stage, I'm just test pinching it with my fingers and it's still too soft. So because it's too soft, I am going to do this thing. And I'm gonna blend some cover paint down. So this is natural beige we're using today. Splash, splash. I can feel that this is getting warm, so I know that that is setting. So I can give it a pinch. Because I can feel that chemical reaction happening that goes a little bit warm. I know that that's the setting time. However, when you do it on somebody else, you don't know that, do you? Because they aren't going to say, oh, I can feel it getting a little bit warm. Would you like to put on the pinching tool now? And I am going to get some of this gorgeous natural beige and I'm going to put it on the tip. Just at this corner. And blend it up. So I've took this pinching tool off, that's fine now. With this, we can carry on with this, so we can carry on with this a minute. I have got some of the mylar and it's in the colour of tickle me pink i've just got it in a separate little jar i don't know why it's in a little tiny jar i think maybe i i can say decanted that's not no that's, that's not a word decanted decanted that's what you do with liquids well i took some out of the big pot and put it in a little pot yeah that's a good enough explanation 
You don't need special is words. Is it not a special word for that? Why do you need special words? I don't know. Does it make you feel clever? Oh, God, yeah. So I'm going to put some of the glitter lips colours on. And I am going to just generally mix those together. I don't need any hard lines or, you know, any solid colour. And some of the Vintage Pretty, I'm going to add that on there. You don't want a hard line. Just let that sort of fade out. And then we're going to add some of the Cracked Mylar which just looks fantastic through here. This colour is amazing. Just arrange your pieces where you want them. Then I can encapsulate that with clear. So it's quite a quick nail to do this is because everything doesn't have to be so precise. I can let this set up a little bit and then I will pinch it. I can go back to this one and I can file this smile line in. So I'm just tweaking it because I'm so fussy. On this finger, and this finger, I know you're thinking, oh, this is a bit weird colour to be having with these, you know, rose golds, but we're going to use chrome over the top to change the colour. So I'm going to put the pink. on the tip here and the nail next to it, the ring finger, will have a full nail of this colour. You don't have to do this with acrylic, you can do it with gel polish, just as easy. Because I don't want to stain this nail, I'm just going to put a very thin coat of clear onto the natural nail. Now it may not stain, but I just don't want to run the risk of it staining. So I've just got a very, very thin coat of that. And then I can go straight on with this pink. I will tell you the name of the color in a second. But don't forget everything that we're using is in the description box. So you can just press that right now and you can see the list of things that I've used. Now, I am going to cap them in clear. Fantastic fuchsia, that's what it's called. Once I've encapsulated this, I will pinch it as well. I'm going to pop one on this one as well. Let them pinch, then I'm going to file the full five nails. 